Hey everyone, I want to show you guys quickly. Uh, as you know, the Samsung Galaxy camera has been out for a couple months or about a month and a half. Uh, this was introduced at CES this year in Las Vegas, CES 2013. So I just want to do a quick unboxing, see what you can check what you're going to get. Basically, you're getting is uh, it's actually almost like having a Galaxy S4 or S3. Screen size is uh, 4.8, which is a very nice. Uh, size of screen there that you can do you basically can do anything you can uh, on your phone you have this connected to your Wi-Fi or tethered to your hotspot you'll be able to do a lot of things with it it's got the Super HD clear uh, LCD uh, as you can see it's got Bluetooth 4.0 DNA it's got the 802.11 AB GNN uh, it's got the quad core processor 1.4. This is nice because you will be able to everything should be pretty pretty smooth with the operating system. So everything you function all the functionality of it should be pretty, very smoothly. So we'll uh, go over it just lightly on it. I won't take too much time. I'll try to do another video um, showing more of the features. It does come with a 16 megapixel optical up to 21 times, which is very nice. It's got the wide zoom lens, so that's pretty nice because you'll be able to, you know, zoom in very far and everything will be nice and clear. So let's take a look on this. Let me quickly open this up from right here and we'll take a look. Let me back this up a little bit for you guys. And then these uh, Samsung cameras, these th this is not going to replace your digital SLR type camera, but for for the most part, it'll be like a point and shoot camera, uh, a little bit more features than a regular point and shoot camera. As you can see, uh, this is the white version, very nice. Uh, it's got this little hold to give you a nice grip when you want to grip it, so it doesn't fatigue you too much. As you can see, you can just kind of grab it like this, very easy, very nice. So let's take a quick look on the top. As you can see, is you got your power button here. Your uh, you'll have your zoom in and out here. Uh, there should be that's a microphone, the power button. Here is uh, the flash, pop up flash. Very nice to have it built in. That way you don't have to have an accessory. Uh, there you have is this is what he uses to focus for the uh, zoom lens not focused but gives it the detail for uh, pick up the if it's a nice shot it gives a little infrared the ability to check where it's at this is you push this as you can see uh, flash pops right up very nice uh, there's the speaker on this side as you can see 21 times zoom there you see is a 23 millimeter uh, lens on here which this is equivalent I believe up to uh, 400 millimeter on a DS, D, digital SLR so that that's very nice uh, you'll be able to zoom in very far this is the Wi-Fi version only it's got for your uh, uh, stand here very nice here we see it's got you know your HDMI here you know, let me pop this up so you can, can see so if you wanted to hook this up to your TV you can use this directly very nice here's you slip this up um, here you have for your battery that goes in here and your micro SD card goes here normally if it was a 3G version uh, your slot is right here for that would go right here so let's cover this and again on the grip side here you got little window for your USB very nice because they went ahead and put the micro USB there so that's very nice to be able to have Everybody's going to basically that cable. This is for your uh, uh, tethering. Uh, here's a headset. The back, you get the nice, as you can see, nice big screen here. It's, this is a 4.8, so this is very nice. It's quad core, as you can see, running Android 4.1, I believe. The current version is 4.2, but not bad. I believe they'll be up updating that pretty soon as well to 4.2. So again, this is the front of it. Very nice. Uh, the quality of it is uh, it's like it's plastic, it's, but it's nice because they'll keep it clean, very sturdy plastic. It's not nothing squeaky or anything that flexes on it. As you can see, all angles there. I'll go ahead and we'll power that up. But you'll see, let's see what else you get on the inside the box. They've done a little nice box here. In here in the box, of course, you get your manual and other little quick reference booklet in there. 
inside you see it's got the typical uh, this this is your lanyard uh, to tie it on your camera there there's a USB cable to charge it or maybe transfer pictures yeah actually you will charge it because it does have and this is actually your typical charger if you ever have owned a Galaxy S4 or 3 or any of the Galaxy products that's the same thing let's take a look at the battery it is a 1650 milliamp battery um, that's the that's a smaller battery type uh, the galaxies I think they're in the 2200s so we'll see how having such a big screen we'll see how many pictures that's able to take with this battery so let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and then we'll stick this in I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll, I'll boot up the uh, the camera there so that way um, I won't keep you guys from all the logging I have to do and Oh, that's so we'll slip that in there and I'll stick a micro SD card there as well we'll see let's see how much of, if it's got any kind of power on there yeah it's booting up there so I'll go ahead and pause it in and out this is your typical boot up uh, screen there so let me see I'll do pause it for right here and then I'll go ahead and uh, get this back going on here when we when I get everything signed in okay we're back uh, went ahead and set up all the accounts so again you see this is what you get basically if you're a Samsung uh, user you know their UI uh, touch ways so you, this should be pretty familiar for, with you uh, I'll put this for now just uh, setting up as you can see you get basically the same familiar as your uh, Galaxy you know touch UI just to give you an idea, you know, for the screen, let me uh, show you basically kind of what you get is this is the Samsung Galaxy S4. So the screen size is a tad bigger on the 4, but again, this is a 4.8. So you got a lot of screen real estate there. Makes it nice so when you're using it as a camera. So when you actually touch the, the camera, oops, uh, let me see. Sorry there, hit the wrong one. When you touch the camera, it automatically brings out the lens there. Let me show you, I'll, I'll go to home here on the, and it's pretty quick uh, how it does it. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna push the, I'm gonna go ahead and push the camera and you'll see how quickly, tapped it there, see how quickly. As you can see, uh, it's very nice. Let me just kinda, I'll just do a little, Maybe I'll just set, put the four there just so you guys can see real quick. Can you guys get that in the camera? Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can oh, get this from the side here. I need to get pushed. As you can see, how quickly, as soon as I hit the shutter button, it was able to take the picture of it. Well, the, the flash is very bright, as you can see it very filled in everything really bright so let's do one without a flash okay let me see let me zoom in try to get that corner of the phone as soon as I pushed it cancel there as you can see it's very nice actually the detail is very very good I still will have to test it out to you know do some comparison I got the you know I'm not gonna really compare it to like uh, the uh, Sony uh, NEX 5N because those are more like a you know professional grade type cameras but as you can see the angle on the viewing angle is great very very good on the display even though it's not a super AMOLED screen colors and everything are rich and viewing angles is very nice so if you're gonna be taking the pictures like let's say uh, above crowd or something if you can see this uh, what angle I have this is almost uh, basically almost you guys are seeing it almost at tilting angle there and you can see uh, that it's very very clear the the picture on it so that that's very nice so you'll have very good angles that no matter what so this is very nice again let's go quickly um, 
basically you get the same thing like uh, your Android phone so because this is a uh, Android operating system home takes you to the home key here let's bring this down and again you get all your uh, settings and anything that you had on your Samsung right here right in the palm of your hands this is very nice because you can take pictures Facebook them right out of here uh, share them uh, email them the only thing that this is the Wi-Fi version it does not have text but if you download a I believe if you have the chat on I don't know if this one that would have chat on if it does you can use basically that one um, to do um, yeah it does so you can text message probably to your other phones uh, I know chat on works with Samsung but if not you can download other text messaging apps and again you can be able to text uh, MMS pictures but everything again widgets you, you have a um, any kind of widget you have you can put it back on here it is very nice you get all the options again settings you can go back to the home and and view everything you want and then uh, again this right here when you're in the in the home screen that becomes your volume rocker here and when you're in the zoom that is a uh, zoom feature so this is really good you can have see the weather let's go back and then I'll show you uh, under oops let me just go I'll go back up here real quick as you can see the shortcut there just kind of like your typical Samsung you can move these around if you if you go to the settings you can put your Bluetooth over to the other side so it's got Bluetooth uh, let's go see uh, what else you get you get a uh, your GPS if you want to have it on use this one also for uh, you want to go to use it as a GPS navigator just load up your Google Maps or anything your navigation and voila you have a GPS phone as well very nice so everything is here built in so that that's very good very handy so you can also use that GPS feature with any app that supports that and the nice thing is you can rotate no matter where you're at this is nice uh, you can go to the home screen right oh sorry we are in this home screen pinch it so you can go between screens or or just like your navigation very smooth as you can see and there you have the nice thing if you notice what Samsung did is they kept this uh, camera icon no matter where I'm at as you can see on the home screen uh, it shows up there when I'm in the apps of course it doesn't show but you can go back to the home screen and that's always there so you can uh, have a push of a button or actually should I say touch of an icon you're up and running and you saw how quickly uh, that that was uh, brought up the camera and again I turned it off you saw how quickly there see as you can see what you can do you can easily share your pictures through your Twitter Facebook Picasso Google Plus Instagram I mean anything you can share the videos you can upload them to YouTube anything very easy very good uh, there's uh, other more features probably that you can use uh, than a standard uh, point-and-shoot camera so it's gonna be fun testing this out well, we'll take a look and see how nice this is. So far, I like the way it feels. You can hold it very nicely. Uh, let's go do a, let me do a real, I'll try to see if I can do a quick video of it or use it as a video. Let me, it's recording right here. As you can see, the Galaxy S4 uh, it's got the new dual screen. We can slide it open like this, pinch and zoom, go to any device you want it's got the micro USB as you can see the zooming in and out the focus is very nice because as you can see it focuses very quickly as you see uh, in the video so that's that's a nice feature because uh, a lot of the DS uh, the digital SLR type cameras sometimes have a trouble focusing really quickly but let me uh, show you guys here so you guys can see it in the video see how quickly uh, it focuses uh, on there whether I bring it here it does a quick focus 
so it doesn't uh, keep you waiting for the focus that's very nice so as you can see there it picks up the detail very nice so let's see let's stop this real quick I'll do a playback here um, just so you guys can see it view it here I'll just kind of forward it to so you, once you hit the play button here as you can see this will zoom in it's recording right here as you can see the very Galaxy clear as you can see again any uh, angle might be hard to pick it up on the video but this. it's very Pinch very zoom. sharp go to any device you want everything as you can see is USB. responds very see, quickly uh, zooming in and out the focus is very nice because you can zoom in and out at the video as you can see it focuses without no problem quickly. as you see that's a uh, zoomed in so zoomed out that's, that's a nice Get all feature your... because this right here like you because, see all the uh, galaxy the DS, uh, the i can go back and then i can go back to the home sometimes i have a trouble focusing really quickly and Maybe, this can be uh, float around the video the wherever you want the, double tap and i'm video. back here see probably no quickly, pause uh, at all it's just there, very nice whether i bring it here it does a quick focus so it doesn't uh, keep you waiting for the focus that's very nice so so that's just a quick look so you guys can take a look if you guys were interested in picking up or wanted to see what the galaxy camera is once again it's a very nice camera we testing it out uh there is a 3g version this is the wi-fi version see is um again with all the uh, applications you, you can download this also has s voice which is you know typical kind of what uh samsung has is the Voice recognition. You can ask. This guy. Uh, let's um, put agree here. I'll skip that. What's the weather today in San Diego? So it's able to pick everything up for the you. The weather is clouds yielding to sun in today. The so, current temperature is seventy-two degrees. That, that, that's very nice. So you have the high galaxy. What's two plus two? Four. So you can, you know, have the option of keeping your um, S voice. And since this does have, uh, let me see, let's go back here. We'll go over it quickly. It, it sh I'll show you guys. Uh, this is running and, oops, let me go all the way. Android 4.112. So you got the latest, not the latest, but the latest for most all phones have. So that's great. So you can um, use Google now or. What's the weather in New York? So this is the using the Google now. So you can set that up as well. As you can see here. Gives you all the information either however you want it. We can create a shortcut here as well, or create your settings, and then you can download everything. Uh, Google Now, I can put that, set that back to on. I can go through the whole menu. I'll go ahead and set this up. I'll just hit next, next. And then you go, yes, I'm in. Then you can have this uh, also just handy along with your uh, S voice. So that's pretty nice because then you have a. Uh, a little bit of both and then again you can go let's go quickly uh, let me choose uh, let's see we'll go to the browser I think I can yes you can also pinch on this one so we'll go to Chrome browser real quick and we'll just uh, type in again you can do it by voice msn.com and I'll click on it and as you can see this is a browser very nice it's pretty quick and you can rotate MSN kind of recognizes when it's a web browser, so it kind of puts it. If you want to go to desktop, you can request a desktop browser. 
and then that will change it to uh, what you're familiar you know and uh, just kind of show you guys how quickly everything zooms in and out so it refreshes pretty quickly not bad it's uh, like, again this is running the quad core 1.4 so this is good this is nice uh, we can I'll just click on a link here just to show you guys how quickly that loads up it's loading up there little pause there but overall very nice tap to zoom and then you can read on on the, the apps I want to just quickly show you uh, how you can use it as a phone so I'll go ahead and uh, no recent calls so what it does you know like you're all familiar with Vonage or any Skype there basically I'll give you you know your contacts it imports and history the messages you know they have and they have credits and rates and you know if you want to buy other time with them but on this as you can see it's the Galaxy camera here um, you can use it to dial anywhere you like uh, let's go ahead and uh, let me see I'll just do oops uh, 1951 I'll call I'll just call Best Buy here Three, three just so you guys can see that you can dial and if you do have like a Bluetooth headset it's, it gives you that option here as you go. As Thank you, you for see. calling Best Buy and Menifee. For store hours, press 1. For directions, press 2. To speak to a sales associate, press 3. For Geek Squad services, press... As you can see, uh, basically everything... Our store is located at 301 Sepate Pond Road. Exit the speaker's and right here. Newport Road from the 215 freeway. It's nice and Take loud. Take immediate left onto Han Road. We are located on the left-hand side of the countryside marketplace. To repeat this message, press 1. I'll go ahead. Otherwise, press pound to return to the main menu. Well, just talk to somebody. For store then. hours, press 1. For directions, press 2. To speak to a sales associate, press 3. For Geek Squad services, press... For pricing and availability, press 1. For questions regarding a... Your call is very important to us. All sales associates at this location are currently assisting other customers over the phone. There are two customers ahead of you. As you can see the network quality was just dropped down. We'll see. Hopefully it gives you a little icon as well here when now it's green. So that can vary on your connection. So you got to have a good uh, Wi-Fi connection. We'll put this down see if they pick up. Again, we can do the volume with the rocker. So I integrate it. You want it louder? We'll see if somebody picks up soon, and if not, we'll go ahead and hang up. I mean, it's an all in one camera. It's more of a point and shoot camera, a little bit above the regular point and shoot cameras. But uh, at least you have other features you can do with this as well. So you get a little extra from the point and shoot camera. So if you're out and about taking pictures, it's nice because you can upload them to your Facebook, uh, share them on Twitter, uh, email them, because you can set up email just like you would your phone or any Android device, any tablet. And this having, uh, this has GPS, you can use it again like your GPS uh, device does not have any NFC on here but um, pretty much you're covered on all the other things Let's hide that yeah and this is to mute it right here like that, that's mute right there so we'll continue to talk and if they pick up we'll go ahead and I'll unmute that again like I mentioned here you, if you if you pair this to a Bluetooth headset you can basically have the Bluetooth headset in your ear So they're transferring us to another store, but they must be pretty busy. Yeah, I wanted to check to see if you had a camera in stock. Sure, do you have a 
have this here, the model of the camera? Yeah, I was looking for the, it's the Samsung NX300. NX300? No, uh, the letter N as in Nancy, and then X300. Yes. Can I show that we have two of them in stock? You do. Do you know what the price is? Mm -hmm. It's six forty nine ninety nine. Six forty nine. Okay, and two in stock. Okay. What time do you close today? Uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. As you saw, yeah, I'm able to carry a conversation. It was no problem. It's great, you know, you have that option. Not that you might going to use this as a phone, but if you're out on a vacationing and um, you decide you want to, you know, keep your phone or whatever, you might have this tethered to. Basically, you can use this as a phone. And uh, if you have a Bluetooth again, you can talk to it or a speaker phone and then keep your phone with the battery without using it so you can have more battery life. So that's just a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy camera and hope that uh, gives you some ideas and again it uses the micro SD and it's very easy to put this in, you just slide this open, push this in, let me see, it goes in this way, close the door and then you know when you get here it's gonna give you more options for um, you can put for their um, settings here we can go to uh, Tunisia General scroll down storage we want to go ahead and hit memory card so that way you'll have more uh, be able to take more pictures with no problem as you can see it's showing the storage card there and again you get all the other extra features and if you guys are interested oops um, let me go back to the home yes anyway, hit the wrong button here sorry about that guys it's going too fast let me quickly show you the Let's see, let's go to memory here, storage, just so you guys can get an idea. Uh, there's 3.9 gigas, almost 4 gigabyte of storage space on the device memory. And, and then putting the card, SD card, it was an 8 gigabyte card, so that gives you more storage there. So that, that's an idea of the Galaxy camera.